Hi, I'm Chris Lamb, and you're here because you're trying to get into anime but don't know where to start. So that's why I'm here. Today, we're going to be recommending an anime to Sapphire Sandalo. As usual, we are using our three personal questions. Number one, what's your greatest fear? Number two, what's a pet peeve that you would find in a significant other? And number three, what brings you joy? Okay, uh, one of my biggest fears is tight spaces. I'm extremely claustrophobic. I do not like being confined. My pet peeve with my husband is that whenever he sneezes, he doesn't cover his mouth and he just spreads his snot and saliva everywhere. And then something that brings me joy is my dogs. So find an anime that'll work for me, please. <laughs> Oh, your dog is cute. Can I pet him later? I thought long and hard about this one. You appreciate basic hygiene, and you like open spaces, and you like cute dogs. I must have gone through three different animes before I landed on this one, Violet Evergarden. Violet Evergarden is probably one of the best animes I've seen in a very long time. Anyone who has watched this anime, even if for some reason they don't like the plot, will at least acknowledge that it is a technical marvel on the part of Kyoto Animation. I'm of course not recommending it just because it looks pretty. I did try to look for something with very clean line work based on your justified attachment to hygiene. No shade, by the way. Violet Evergarden is a young woman who is emotionally stunted because she has been conditioned to be an efficient and obedient soldier for a war that recently ended. She joins a company that helps clients write and send letters, kind of like ghostwriting. We see that she has a lot of difficulty acclimating to tasks that aren't of the military kind. She also has a lot of difficulty with empathy, as you might imagine. She begins with a lack of understanding of how to translate a client's feelings into a well-written letter. But we see early on why she wants to learn to write letters. Someone she worked closely with during the war told her, I love you. And she believes that through learning how to write, she'll finally be able to understand what that person meant in saying those words to her. The main thing that I love about this show is that through her lack of understanding and emotions, she actually ends up helping people. Violet starts out unaware of any social norms, so you can say, it's fine, but she'll say, that that contradicts what you said earlier in front of everyone. It's impolite, but it also finally lays things out in the open. And through helping people, she's able to grow emotionally as well. The past war creates an intriguing backdrop to Violet's story. There are just enough mentions of what's going on to flesh out the world and give a sense that life exists outside of our limited perspective. And Violet visits a different place almost every job she takes. So this will appeal to the feeling of openness you should enjoy. Unlike other anime that is sometimes confined to the same classroom, the same food place, same arcade. The world's fashion and architecture give it a fictional Victorian whimsy while still being grounded by the violence of war. But you don't really have to worry about those details because the appeal comes from Violet's very intimate interactions with the people around her. I find that people with dogs are very emotionally available, very empathetic, very extroverted. And as I'm sure you could tell from what I just summarized, the show is all about emotions. I guarantee the writing could move anyone. Not to mention the detailed and intimate facial expressions during each episode's climax. Episode 10 had me bawling, and this is coming from someone that didn't cry it up. At all. Maybe it's just my heart condition. I don't have one. <laughs> Anyone who watches Violet Evergarden, newcomer or not, will not only be taken on a great ride, but will also really understand why anime is a genre and art form that isn't just bouncing boobs and explosions. Even though there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> So, based off of Sapphire's answers, what would you recommend to her? Let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to follow Gamma Ray across all social media. Thanks so much for watching! Bye!